Well, the countdown has officially begun. Less than a month until my disability hearing. Um, in a way, I, I almost can't believe that it's that close to being here. Um, because it's something that I have waited... I, and I know there's people out there that have waited way longer than I have. Um, but it just seems like I have waited so long. Of course, there's another part of me that is not necessarily dreading March 4th. Um, but I, I'm very nervous about it. Because I, I, I do not want to have a panic attack. I don't want to make a fool of myself. Um, no, not at all. And that's, that's my biggest fear. You know, I want to be able to keep my composure and keep my, you know, my head held high. Um. And not be a blubbering idiot. I, I don't want to be like that. Um, <clears throat> and I was supposed to have my um, phone prep thing for um, from my attorney for the hearing. And unfortunately, I missed that phone call. And we've been playing phone tag ever since. So hopefully we're going to get that. We'll get a time arranged together. Um, and hopefully then I'll feel a little bit better because I'm right now, I have no idea really what to expect, what they're going to be asking me. I know absolutely nothing. Um, so once I have the interview, I'll probably do another video to update you guys and let you know kind of what that process was like. Um, let's see, anything else? Oh, um, <clears throat> I actually, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to get a drink. <clears throat> Hold on. Um, since I did the last video, <clears throat> I actually have a new therapist. <clears throat> Man, I'm sorry. Something in my throat. But yeah, I have a new therapist. And I'm going to be totally honest. I am very proud of myself. Um, honestly, I didn't think I would ever um, want to do another therapist after what happened with my last one. Um, because like I've said in previous videos, I mean, that was very, very hurtful and, um, you know, I never really got closure on it, but I got a phone call. I'm trying to think of what day it was last week. Might have been last Thursday. And... I didn't know my um, psychiatrist had put me on a waiting list when all this happened with my other therapist. And he had put me on a waiting list, and it was the people from the waiting list saying that there had been two cancellations, and um, was I interested in a therapist? And I wanted to make sure. I said, well, the only way I'm going to see a therapist is if I can bring my dog. And... Um, the therapist has got to understand that I'm not going to open up right away. And they set me up um, with a therapist. Her name is Cora. <clears throat> Excuse me. Her name is Cora. And one of the first things that I said to her when I met her, I said, you do realize I'm not going to trust you, right? And she looked right at me and said, you don't have to. You don't have to be here. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. And if you don't want to trust me, so be it. And that, that did really help. Um, and the other thing I said was, I said, 
I don't mean this to be rude, but I'm going to be very blunt. This is not going to be a dictatorship because that's kind of what it was before. It was either her way or the highway, and that is not going to work. It's not going to be your way or the highway, and it's not going to be my way or the highway. We have to compromise. That's the only way this is going to work. And she agreed to that, um, which made a big difference. <clears throat> um, so uh, I had the first session, and she asked me if I wanted to um, schedule another one, and I did, and I saw her today, and um, turns out my insurance has, like, unlimited coverage on therapy sessions, so she's going to be seeing me twice a week. So, fingers crossed, this helps. Um, I'm really hoping it helps. Because um, I know I need a therapist. Um, definitely, definitely need a therapist. Especially, like right now, when things are just so incredibly stressful because again apartments still not done come to find out don't get to have a meeting with the management and probably not going to get a credit on my account i don't even really have words for that i'm so angry about it Because my apartment has been a disaster for about six months. And that's okay. And they broke laws of the ADA. That's okay. Strange men got to enter my apartment while I was sleeping. That's okay. I just don't understand it. And I still haven't heard anything about the other apartment complex. And it's looking like I probably won't. I mean, even fingers crossed. Hopefully I would get in there by April. Um, I was really, really hoping it was going to be before, <laughs> before then. And I don't even know if it's going to be April. Um... <clears throat> Other than that, um, I still don't have Preston back, and it's absolutely killing me. I, I don't even know how to put it in words. I never thought these renovations were going to take this long. I never thought this stuff was going to get this ugly. I never thought I was going to get this sick. And... My son is my entire world, and I just need him back. Other than that, um, it's really just been a waiting game, waiting to get a therapist, which I did, um, but it's still a waiting game. Not as long, though, for disability, but it's still a waiting game for disability and a waiting game for the other apartment. And I guess really not a waiting game anymore for the meeting here and the go and the credit. So, I'm going to um, think peace out for right now, but I'm going to try and do more videos, um, especially as I get closer to the hearing. Um, please keep me in your prayers. Fingers crossed. Everything goes well. Bye.